Hey guys, welcome back to Better Biomed. Today I am in probably the best store in the world. So this is one of those old school electronic stores where you can find anything you need to get something done and they have it in stock, which is fantastic. This is real old school. Like you can see some of the stuff. Anyway, I'm gonna take you on a little tour of the building. This is uh, Ace Electronics located right here in Houston. If you are a biomed and you're in the Houston area, you should check this place out. They have almost everything you need to get up and get going. So let's go ahead and take a look at the store. All right, I'm in the back corner of the store and right here you can see we've got all sorts of relays and we have motor capacitors. We have, geez, a little bit of everything guys. Mind you, this is the back corner of the store. These are all relays. I just got a slamming deal on a miniature multimeter. So, get indicator lights, more indicators, LEDs. I've got various capacitors all the way down. Look at this. We got potentiometers all sorts of potentiometers. We got knobs. Very cool. Gosh, how many knobs uh, get sheared off and we have to replace them. More potentiometers. Take a look at that. So if these are pots and maybe those ones down there are not pots. Hmm. Uh, we got standoffs, heat sinks. Look at all the heat sinks. How crazy. This is an interesting aisle. These are all resistors and other solid state type components. Yep. More resistors, more resistors. Soldering stuff all down through here. Check out these power resistors. How crazy. So it's kind of cool because when I make custom jigs, I use a lot of power resistors and uh, you can see they even have tiny little guys right here. And the cool thing is those are 10 watt resistors, they have them in stock, two bucks each. The prices at this place is fantastic. So resistors all the way down, various types. So when I make jigs for things, you know, it's nice to have those. Um, anyway, as I was saying earlier, if some of those aren't uh, potentiometers, that's because they're rheostat. So, sorry, it's like a candy store and I'm get, just getting sidetracked. So we have all our different uh, NEMA interfaces, um, plug-ins, more potentiometers. Look at this. Holy cow. How cool is that? And we got uh, various types of circuit board uh, components like we have DC input jacks, we've got buttons, we've got switches. Look at this. You know I have to do it. <laughs> Big giant switches. Uh, we got dip switches. A whole bunch of stuff. And some of this stuff goes back obviously decades. So that's the cool cool thing about some of this stuff is if you can't find it even on uh, online, you know, some places you'll find it here. All different relays. Oh, so cool. Okay, we've got MOVs, uh, metal oxide barristers, and we got inrush current limiters. Uh, we got a whole selection of MOSFETs. Very cool. Let's see. Oh, dusters, cleaning components. So this is where I normally come to get my uh, ultra pure alcohol, which you can see I've got some of it right there. Um, that would be the 90 plus percent shrink tube. Definitely a collection of shrink tubes. More soldering stuff. LEDs. This is what I came for. I came for a single throw dual pole 
power switch right there. So they have all these are various through panel power switches. Very cool. Look at this more through panel push button. Oh wow. Check some of these out. Look at those. Interlocks, keys. Very cool. I love coming to this place. Oh, a whole selection of micro switches. So you see we got uh, roller switches, we've got Actually, that's a pretty good price, 11 bucks. Oh, look at the panel. They have all of them right here. How about that? That's a better view for you guys, huh? And then you can see right here, we got rocker switches. Look at all those rocker switches. How cool is that? Got some tool bags. Some tool holders, cases, precision tools. More precision drivers. I love it. They have a Weeha section. You guys like Weeha? I love it. They got a whole section from. And I didn't know that they are a Vito dealer. And I'm I'm really on the fence right now because I'm I'm really thinking about getting that guy. You guys know I just got a new tool bag, but that's okay um, because that one is a backpack. All right. Anyway. Uh, right here, you can see that we've got uh, multi-pin connectors, blank PCBs. We have, oh, risers, um, board solderable uh, risers. Oh, how cool is this? Look at this, various connectors. Uh, you guys know that some of these connectors break on boards. Oh my gosh. That's cool. It's good to know because if I ever have one of those, I'll just bring the whole board up here. And right here are all the DC power jacks, various types of jacks. So we have uh, through panel. We've actually got uh, cord terminators. More types of cord terminators. More through panel. More types of cord terminators. Look at that. I love DC power jacks. I keep a collection of them just because you never know what you're going to run into. And you can always re-terminate a power supply. Look at all their uh, switch mode power supplies. Definitely got a collection of them here. Um, different types of uh, DIN uh, industrial electronics. Oh, very cool. Look at some of these. Look how many they have. <laughs> You see what other people have kind of gone through. Anyway, as I said, they got um, DIN style industrial electronics. Screw terminals. Very popular in Europe and in industrial cabinets. Screw terminals. Very cool. And let's see. Oh, yes. We got uh, Molex style risers. Very cool. You can see a various collection of those ones that are sitting over here. These ones here, they get old, brittle, they break. At least I could take photos of it up here and match it up. Oh, very cool. Risers. We've got uh, couplers. Uh, different spacers. Look at all those. So I could actually make a, a threaded spacer for things like that Mamaru, I could have just re-threaded it. Oh, uh, let's see, what are these? Oh, these are all electronics. Um, fender washers, lock washers. These are some of the hard ones to find. Uh, they're electronics. Great, oh, look how tiny those are. Compared to my finger. How cool. Okay. Just regular nylon fasteners, that's good to know. Nylon fasteners and uh, medical devices, they use them all the time in like high voltage boards and stuff like that to hold it down. Uh, we've got grommets, through panel grommets. Also good to know. Oh, those would have been cool. 
protective products. You guys uh, just did a video on fixing a treadmill the other day because uh, the risers on the uh, control board were broke. Those look like they're the right diameter and the right height. Oh, look at this. A Variac, uh, variable transformer. Ooh, I wish I had one of those guys. It's on my Christmas list, I swear. And these are all the crimp terminals all the way down. Different transformers. <laughs> No, all different types of transformers. Look at this. Oh, chokes. Pretty cool. Yeah, you can you can turn your own transformer. They have the kits, so if you know how many windings you have and how many turns, you can build your own. Plus, they have the magnet wire to do it. That's cool. Always oh, good to know. There's two. He's bored. Because <laughs> I'm doing my thing and he's doing his thing. Flashlights. I dig it. I dig it. Oh. And then there's a whole separate section of the building. So you can see we got tie wraps, fluke stuff, They're like different uh, test jigs. You know, I love different test jigs. Look at all the different multimeters. To which, I just seen a multimeter I think I'm gonna get next. Um, I'll show it to you in just a moment. Uh, different types of terminations, different cable terminations. Again, more fluke stuff. Data cables, terminations, you know how it goes. Different types of cords. Show you a little bit about what's going on. So there's different power cords. They keep them up on the wall. They got cooling fans. Cooling fans. It's nice to know that they're around because you know when they go bad, a lot of machines stop working. <laughs> got different wiring. And here's one of the coolest things. We got. This is their wall of conductor. All right. And uh, I just came here because I was after eight feet of uh, 14 gauge three conductor. Um. But they have all these in the back room and you just buy it by the foot. Very cool. So anyway, if you are in the Houston area and you are looking for electronic components or you're up against the wall, this place right here would definitely be a spot that I would check. And I've been here several times before and they've saved me in an emergency. And this would be one of those times because um, I had a hydrocolator uh, which had an electrical problem down at the power switch, melted the power switch. I checked the heating elements. The heating elements were fine. They weren't grounded out and uh, they were sitting at about nine to 10 ohms. So um, it really was that somebody just beat the hell out of the power switch. And because they beat the power switch, uh, the wires got loose. And over time, you know, that poor uh, connection led to uh, heat. Heat causes things to melt and fires, you know, it's just how it works. You guys know these. These are the infamous cable connectors for uh, a lot of uh, electrical safety analyzers and stuff. Anyway guys, uh, that's Ace Electronics located right here in Houston and uh, it's aceforparts.com. What a cool place.